Now, if you want to show off great beef, like this Harvey beef, the best way to serve it is raw. And I'm going to show you a dish that is so popular at Must Wine Bar, and it's our steak tartare. So let's make up some potato chips as a beautiful crisp carrier for our steak tartare. I've got some anjumup potatoes, and let's slice them up and make some chips. So dip them in some water first. It's so important to wash away the starch when you're making potato chips, or they may burn or not even go crisp. Now, draining the potatoes is absolute key. You don't want the hot oil that you're frying these potatoes in spit as you're cooking them. Now, right, these potatoes are ready. Let's fry. We'll give them about two to three minutes to cook. Temperature, as always, is key when you're deep frying potatoes. About 180 degrees for two to two and a half minutes will give you the perfect golden crisp. Chips are ready. A little bit of salt. Let's start our steak tartare. If we've got to get shaved up or minced very finely. Run the knife through it, a really sharp knife, and we've just got to cut it firstly across the fillet, and then run the knife through it again, very fine strips, and then once more across those little strips, and you've got this finely minced, super delicate, super flavoursome beef fillet. You don't necessarily need good knife skills to cut up this beef for the tartare. you just got to be patient and have a nice sharp knife. Now, I use beef fillet for my steak tartare. It's super tender. It's the king of cuts. There's very little connective tissue, there's no waste, and it just ends up with an almost creamy texture when you eat it. Now, steak tartare is the quintessential bistro dish. It screams for a glass of wine. You know, any self-respecting bistro in Paris would have one of these on the menu. As a chef, I use Harvey Beef at Must Wine Bar because it's consistent, it's super high quality, and it's 100% West Australian. Let's combine, this is the fun bit. Pop that in a bowl. We'll get some shallot, a little bit of uh, chopped up capers, some cornichons or gherkins. Let's put a, about a teaspoon or so of Dijon mustard in there. Now it needs a little bit of sparkle with Worcestershire and depending how hot you like it, I don't mind it with a, quite a bit of Tabasco and some salt and pepper. Last thing in, two egg yolks. The classic recipe for tartare only uses the egg yolk. That imparts a richness, almost a dressing, through the beef when you eat it. Give it a really good mix. You want to combine those ingredients. We'll just scatter this on our serving plate. A little bit rustic in style. Now, some pecorino. That'll give it a lovely piquant bite. Add some richness, a nice little dressing over the top. And we'll finish it off with one more egg yolk. To create a little indent and pop it on. And we'll finish it off with these potato chips. Tiny bit of pepper and salt on the yolk. And there you have it, 100% WAB. The best steak you'll ever have and you don't have to cook it.